Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new, thanks for joining me today. My name is Dana. On this channel, we do all things from reviews, tutorials, sometimes a little bit of lifestyle here and there. So if you decide to stick around, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. But today's video is going to kind of be like a haul and first impressions all in one. I placed an order on Revolution Makeup, Revolution Beauty, is it just revolution.com? Makeup Revolution is sold at Ulta, but it, since it is a UK based brand, sometimes they will have like first releases over on their UK based site. So earlier in July, I placed an order one day while I was laying in bed at like 2 a.m. It finally came after weeks of waiting. So I decided to film a first impressions today. So if you guys are interested in how to get Jish look here, then go ahead and stick around and keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with eyes first. That way if we have any issues with fallout, I can go in and wipe them off. Plus, I typically always do eyes first and then foundation. So for my eyeshadow, I picked up the new Makeup Revolution and Soap collab. This is the Extra Spice Ultra Eyeshadows, 18 Ultra Professional Eyeshadows eyeshadow palette. So here is the outer packaging. And as you can see, has like a high metallic cover. It's just rose gold, super pretty. And then the back is just kind of like this matte, light kind of cream pink. It reminds me a lot of the Jouer shades. So several months back, I did do a video reviewing a ton of Revolution products that I picked up. And here is the original Soap palette. So it is smaller in size, is it? slightly, like ever so slightly smaller. This one had 24 shades. I believe they are still the same price though, $15 a piece. So here was the original palette with a full size mirror. Before the names weren't in the actual palette, you just had this clear plastic sleeve. But then in this palette, you have the actual names under the shades, which I don't know, I just really like, especially if you are doing a tutorial, it's just easier to refer to the actual packaging. I don't believe that these are available on the Ulta site yet, but they will be soon. That's why I ordered it from the Revolution website. If you guys are curious, you can follow Makeup Revolution on Instagram. They have the USA page as well as like the normal UK international page. They tend to get all their products first since it is a UK based brand. So I always like to creep on their page just to see what like new and upcoming products they have. So I had seen a few things about that palette, but the main reason for my order was for their glitter pressed palettes. The one that I really wanted was out of stock. So now I'm just gonna wait till it comes onto the actual Ulta page because shipping took forever. I ordered this back like early, like the beginning of July while I was in Florida and I just now got it the other day. Today is the 27th. I think I got it like on the 25th. So I'm not gonna wait that long again, but here is the palette that I ended up getting because the other two were out of stock. So you just have this gold glitter packaging and then, wow. That's awesome. I don't even know which goes into, oh no, I think I do, I can tell from the glitter. So these are just pressed glitter palettes and clearly they are pretty fragile because mine just popped right on out of the pan. I will say I cheated and dipped my finger in two of these and some of them feel kind of dry, which is really disappointing because on Instagram, they're showing how they just like kind of glided right onto the lids. I didn't order the glitter glue just because I have so many already, but here is a close up of the shades. There are some gorgeous warm shades in here, but the other one was more of like a red themed palette and it just looked so much more appealing in my opinion. So let's go ahead and start off with the Soph palette. I really do love the packaging of this palette. You know what, let's go ahead and start off with cookie dough first. So I'm gonna just pick up some of this on a smaller crease brush and just place this right in. I don't have any actual eyeshadow primer on, but I did apply some of the NARS um, Soft Matte Concealer earlier, and then I did place a little bit of setting powder on top of it. That's honestly what I've been doing lately, so I still feel like it's kind of a fair base to use. I'm just gonna take a larger fluffy brush and blend that shade out even more. I'm not really seeing a brow bone shade in here, so I probably will go into another palette and just place that on. All right, so picking up some of Sweet and Sour, I'm just gonna concentrate this shade a little bit lower down. And it looks like in this palette, we have six metallics and then 12 mattes. I have tried several different Makeup Revolution palettes and I have to say so far out of all the ones that I have tried, I have been most impressed by the Soph, the, well the first Soph palette that I have. I also really liked the one that was kind of like, 
well not kind of, it was basically a blatant copycat of the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. That one worked great for me as well. I have had some that were total duds too and just like really powdery and kind of blended into nothing or turned really muddy, but I haven't had any of those sorts of issues with the previous Soph palette. Okay, now I'm very intrigued by this color here called 21. It's just a really pretty kind of like fuchsia red shade. We're just gonna go ahead and start with a little bit of that right on the outer corner. I swear he was not this loud till I started filming. <laughs> what is happening? All right, so with that small brush, I'm just gonna go in and really start packing on the shade 21. Wow. That is so pretty, I love it. On the lids, mixed with sweet and sour, it's kind of pulling like a little bit of a plummy undertone. Oh, that is so pretty. Let's do some cheesecake. That shade looks really pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of focus this right here and bring it down. All right, and then just to deepen up the outer corner even more, I'm definitely gonna do another look with this palette because I'm really, really impressed so far. I think I wanna go in with a little bit of, I'm between Enchanted and Brownies. I think more purple would be really pretty. I feel like I do browns all the time. Okay, so let's go in with some of Enchanted. So this one is just like a really pretty rich plummy shade just to deepen this up even more. Okay, so for $15 already, I have to say I'm very impressed. These shadows are going on so nice. They're blending out so beautifully. The pigmentation, totally there. I love it. I'm, oh, I'm like wanting to use this shade here called Romance. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Wow, that is beautiful. I'm really curious about this one here called Infinity, just because in the pan, that one looks so, so pretty. I have not used a sil- <laughs> Okay, I have not used a silver in a long time. Wow, look at that. That's like you just straight up melted the Tin Man. There it is, swatched. I think that's what we're gonna use. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick up some of Infinity on a brush. I think I may like it more, just, I mean, that is really pretty with the brush but I think I'd like it even more if I just pressed it right on with my finger. Okay, yeah, I am. I'm just gonna grab some on my pinky and just, oh my God. It's so metallic. Oh my gosh, I love this color so much. I really don't feel like you see too many silvers in palettes. That is insane. Like it almost just looks white. It's so metallic and silver. I love it. Here's the thing, whenever I swatch this with my finger, okay, so like if I were to go in with, let's do Magnificent. When I swatch this, it's not as like squishy as ColourPop, but it's not like fully firm either. So on your finger, it looks amazing, right? I mean, that's just like opaque glitter, it's beautiful. But then look at this, let me wipe away some of this shadow. When I go in and swatch it, although that one was much better than earlier, but that was also really pressing. It looks a bit gritty though, you know, like you can definitely see, especially if I go like this, you can see the texture in it, but then look how much is still left on my finger. So I don't know if the best way, like I tried just pressing it too, but the glitter is definitely like fine and flat because look at that. It almost just like mashes completely into my finger without there being like any lifted texture. So, I don't know if the key is to get quite a bit on your finger first and press it on. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and grab glitter glue because maybe that will really help it to obviously like adhere onto the lids, but maybe that'll keep it from like sticking onto my finger quite as much. So I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I just wanted to make a quick note with these swatches. These are not on glitter glue, just like my bare arm. I went in with one finger swatch. So as you can see, the like formula is kind of inconsistent. Like some of these went on super, super smooth and creamy. For instance, these three here, I know Precious and Fancy were some of the creamiest and smoothest in here. But then some of these were just very gritty in texture compared to some of the others. It's almost like these two had a thicker like base to them that allowed them to just glide right on in a smooth, even coat. 
but then some of these were just kind of like crispy feeling. But yeah, these two here were beautiful. Okay, so lavish is clearly the more like silver option in here. And I'm just going to, all right, so that's going on. And it's not feeling like crispy on my lids. You know, sometimes with some glitters, they're like so coarse, you put them on your lids and it almost feels like you crunched up like a handful of Rice Krispies and mashed it onto your lids. I'm not getting that texture, so that's good. All right, so I went ahead and applied my foundation, blush and bronzer, if you are curious. For my blush, I use the MAC Tenderling blush. I have been loving that one. And then just NARS Laguna. I didn't really have any issues with like glitter fallout, so the glitter glue was definitely, I'm guessing, necessary. But I will say, if you were like me and you applied the glitter with your fingers, you really wanna make sure that you go in and you wash your hands first before going in and dotting on any foundation or concealer because then you will definitely get glitter all over your face. Okay, so for the highlighter palette, these are actually available on Ulta's site now. I picked up, wow, well, the actual name isn't on here. I know the one that I have is Incandescent, but the actual product is called the Face Quad Highlighting Palette. So this one retails for $15. I hadn't heard anybody talk about it yet, but apparently Tati mentioned it in her, I think Laura said it was the top shelf video because I kind of did like an unboxing with my friend Laura, Mrs. Lila Lynn here on YouTube on FaceTime. Like anytime I get a package, I open it with her. Um, but she said that she heard Tati rave about this. So this packaging is just kind of like a metallic, slightly rose gold. This one is a um, card board packaging though. So the SOF one is like plastic and just in case if you were curious the um, pressed glitter palette was cardboard as well. I love that this one's glittery and the glitter doesn't like transfer onto your skin. So inside here you do have a mirror as well as four beautiful highlighting shades. Really nice though. There's no glitter. It's a really nice like soft foiled metallic type of highlight. Wow. Look at when those hit the light. So, so pretty. Let's go ahead and start off with the gold first just because I feel like that is a very like common shade when it comes to highlighters. And just, oh, wow. That's really pigmented. And I don't really feel like I put that much on the brush. Holy cow. <laughs> okay, and then let's go in with some of the pink on this side and see. Yikes, let's see. Okay, but it's somewhat blending out. Definitely pigmented, $15 for four super pigmented highlighters. I'm gonna go in with my sponge a little bit and tap that into the skin just because I don't need that, that strong of a highlight. And just because I'm curious, I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade here. Don't you love how it's just like, ah, oh, too much highlighter, but let's go ahead and put on some more. Um, I'm gonna concentrate this. Oh wow, so that's actually not like really, I mean you can see the pink on it, but it's not like as rich of like a bronzy rose that it looks like in the pan. And then if I just tap this in with a sponge some, that's a really pretty color. All right, so there is the highlighter. I have to say I am very impressed. I mean, obviously if you want a stronger highlighter, you could go in stronger, um, but I just didn't want mine that, that intense, but I like that you can keep it like even softer than this or even stronger. And for $15 for four shades, that's awesome because you could definitely go in and utilize those as eyeshadows as well. Okay, so now moving back onto my lower lash line, cheesecake and maybe a tiny bit of chocolate orange. I really like the shade cheesecake. I thought that one was so, so pretty. So just taking a smaller brush, I'm going to, I can't get over the pigmentation of these. The formula is so, so nice. This palette is definitely worth $15. And I've seen Revolution do sales on Ulta quite often where it's either like buy one, I think it's typically buy one, get one half off. While I did like the first Soph palette, I think this one definitely blows the first one out of the water. It is just so, so good. That's it for this look. Let me know which part was your favorite, which products you guys have your eyes on in this video. So far, the like number one product that I would definitely recommend from this video is definitely the Soph Extra Spice Palette. I am so, so impressed by it. I have a teeny tiny bit of glitter on the top, but 
Overall, I just think all the eyeshadows performed so beautifully. They blended out so nicely. I'm so in love with this silver on the lid. I just think the color story that she picked out for the palette, do y'all see this? This eyelash is completely detached. Don't worry, we'll fix it after. But just the shades in here are so, so beautiful. I can't wait to put it to more use. Let me know if you guys would like to see a three-in-one look on this palette. If you would, just be sure to hit that thumbs up button. I'm definitely going to play with this glitter palette some more. Overall, though, so far, like none of the glitter is falling all over my face. That was kind of my main concern. Also the dryness, but it seems like you kind of just break through that once you push down. Like, as you can see from this one here, Extravagant, that was one that I thought was going to be super dry but once I really like pushed my finger in there it seemed to go on pretty well so maybe whenever we do the three-in-one look we could incorporate some more of this I still think I may end up picking up that red toned one once it drops at Ulta Beauty. If you can be patient, I would say wait. That way you're not having to pay additional shipping or having to wait that like super long time period that I had because by the time that this ships from the UK, like it would probably be launched at Ulta by then. So I would just hold off a little bit longer if you can. But if you are wanting this palette, this was definitely a steal. Like the four super pigmented highlighters for $15. This is available on Ulta site right now. As I mentioned earlier, there are two different variations. Mine is in incandescent. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I would love to have you guys here. Don't forget to leave any future video requests down below. And that is it for this one. I hope you guys all have an amazing day and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.